Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to create a new JIRA issue from a Microsoft form submission. This way, we can create our own ticket system for project requests. Someone wants a project, have them fill out a form, and that form will create a JIRA card plus send us an email notification that the project request was submitted. So let's jump right in. The first thing we'll want to do Instead of just going right to create a flow, we're actually going to go to create and we're going to choose a template because Power Automate already has this flow as a template. And what we can do is we can search by Jira and we can see in the results for templates, create Jira issue with Microsoft Forms response. So let's select that template. You can see down here, this flow will connect to Microsoft Forms, Jira, and Office 365 Outlook. So we'll click Continue. The next thing we're going to need to do is select our form. So I've created a form, and it's just a very basic form. The form is asking to the, the person to please describe their request and then provide a, a deadline for the project. Of course, you can add a lot more fields, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm keeping this quite simple and just asking for a re request for project description and a deadline. So we go over here and select our form from the drop down menu. The next is this apply to each action. And we can see that the output from the previous steps is this list of responses. So the list of responses from the form submission. And then the next action within this apply to each is get response details. We're gonna need our form ID. And we can how we can get that is we can go back to our form here. And the form ID is actually this ID in the URL. So the URL has this part that's called and ID equals. And we want to copy everything that we find after the equals, with the exception of, in this case, this is a preview URL, preview of the form. So we're going to just copy that string of numbers up to the and top view equals preview. So we'll copy that. We'll hop back to Power Automate and we'll paste that in. The response ID is already populated by Power Automate with list of responses. So there's nothing we need to do there. And then the next action is create a new issue. And so from here, we need to select our project. And we're going to choose from the drop down menu. You can also type in this field to find your project um, title quicker. And then the issue type ID. So we're going to have it create a task. And you can see there's other options to, to choose from as well. And then the summary is new issue. So the summary, what the summary is, is if we go over to Jira, you can see um, this is the summary, the little title that you click in to see the full card. So we'll just leave the summary as new issue. And then when we get a new issue, we can always retitle it ourselves. I'm going to leave components empty, but for description, what I want to do is I want that dynamic content. So I want the description. So we're just going to type in description, and then we're going to select, please describe your request. So we can say request description, or we can say request details. And then I also want to grab the deadline. So let's choose, or let's, let's um, type in request deadline and then choose from the, our dynamic content. Please provide a deadline for your project. And then uh, Power Automate also uh, populates this responder, response email, and then submit submission time, which I don't know why, but there's a little um, mistake here in the spelling of submission, you can edit that. And then so to the Microsoft Power Automate team, if you're watching this, 
you got a little error here. And then it's then it says new ticket created on Microsoft form submission. So it gives us this details for us, which is kind of nice. Um, there are some advanced options that you can select from there. And then the last action is a send email. So this is to notify us that this new JIRA card has been created. So I'm gonna have it send to myself. And then the subject is new JIRA issue and includes the issue key. And then down here, if you want to put anything extra in the body, but Power Automate already populates this for you with this template. So it says new issue created on JIRA on Microsoft form submission, form submission, and it gives you the issue ID. And so we're just gonna leave it at that. And now we're gonna test this. So let's go ahead and save. And once it's saved, I'm gonna hop over to my form and I'm gonna fill this out. So for describe your request, I'll just put in, I want you to create a new flow and the deadline, I want you to complete this by mid April and we'll submit. And if we hop back to Power Automate, hit refresh, we can see this flow worked really quick. And we just got that bell for our email notification. So we got the email. Now let's hop over to Jira and see if our card is created. It is, there it is, new issue, we'll open that up. And we can see in our description, it says the request details, create a new flow that we entered on the form and the request deadline mid April. And then who the responder was, which was from me, and then the submission time. And then we can go ahead and we can rename our issue based on the details they provided there. But that's how it works. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.